Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Arts a la Carte. Thank you very much for joining me. I have a fun project planned for us today. I hope this video inspires you to create something of your own. If you would, hit the like button and share the video with your friends. That helps me to grow this channel and to continue to bring you new projects. If you haven't subscribed yet, would you please consider subscribing? And if you have, thank you very much. Well, we have a lot to do, so let's get to it. Hi, it's Jamie with Jamie's Arts a la Carte. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, we've been working with these wood slices. Uh, we've completed a couple projects now. I'm throwing away the loose live edge. This set, this will be our grand finale set. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint the background black. Then I'm gonna use chalk to put some designs on there and then we're going to paint those designs. I'm not going for a lot of detail, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if we're going to use these or if I'm just going to draw a simple little figure on there. So these will be painted, right? How fun will that be? And then we'll, we'll mod podge them just to seal them. And we, we still have balls y'all. <laughs> we'll, we'll make some more hangers. So let's go ahead and get started painting all the backgrounds black. I am using this flat paint. Again, that helps it to dry really quickly. <laughs> So I'm going to take my little uh, drawing and I'm going to cover the back in chalk. We're going to see if this will work. Typically it does work when I've tried it in other projects. There we go. And now I'm going to take my little tool, it's just an embossing tool, and I am just going to give a real rough shape. Pretty good. So my chalk is a little light over here. So what I can do is I have this little white pencil. There we go. And there's our truck and tree. <laughs>
Kevin Sorbo and Cuba Gooding Jr. stars in the inspiring new film, The Firing Squad. When I see faith-based films that are well done in production value, I mean, they're as good as anything else Hollywood yeah. is putting out, and they have, I mean, world-renowned actors, and both of you are, Oscar-winning, incredible film career for, for both of you. What is so important that we need to remind an audience why they need to go buy tickets and support the... So I am going to mix some colors for Santa's face. So I want pink without the glove. <laughs> Old paint. Okay, and then now yeah, we're just gonna do it. And then, let's see. Some white. There we go, we're going peachy here. Alright, so now what I want to do Let's see Let's go ahead and use this I'm just going to get his little face in here Throw a little silver in there. How about that? Okay. A little bit more white than what that is.
don't like that. sign so I'm going to clean this up I'm going to let these dry and then we'll put the hangers on all of them how about that kind of cute right okay I'll get it all cleaned up and then we'll put some hangers on there all right I got them to this stage and I thought, oh, they need a, some little something. So I went and pulled out uh, just a tube of white paint. It has a very small little tip on the end. So basically I just went and did some details. Looks like little chicken feet. Some little icicles on the trees. Dressed up Santa a little bit, outlined his mustache. I don't know if you can see that on camera. It looks better here. And I did some swirls on his hat and his ball just to give it uh, a poofy look. And then some wiggles down his beard. Did that. So I wanted to show you how easy this is. These aren't very expensive. I've just had this one for a really long time. They last. So I'm going to do like the little starry night. Just like I did here. And just little random dots right I'm not trying to look to make anything look realistic or anything like that just trying to give it a little bit of interest so there they are dries pretty quick these are ready for Mod Podge so that's our step and then we will start creating the hangers. Alright, so I'm going to go with this one this time. Just help it go a little quicker.
again I put it around the edge just for longevity and then I do the tops because it is a gloss uh, Mod Podge so it'll just give it a nice little sheen and then I'm going multiple directions so to try to uh, eliminate or remove as much uh, brush strokes that I can I think that's just about it all right, we'll cut our string and we'll make our Well, there they are. How about that? I think they turned out super cute. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, like it. Share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, would you please consider subscribing? I hope you've enjoyed this uh, Christmas in July series for 2024. Uh, thank you for coming along on the journey with me. Uh, it's been a blast. Uh, doing all kinds of different projects. Some I have never done before. Some are uh, oldies and goldies and true loved ones. Uh, so let me know in the comments below which was your favorite project. Let me know which one of these is your favorite kind of motif to paint uh, for Christmas. Have you ever done anything like this before? I've seen them at different craft shows uh, but my first attempt. All right. Until next time. Oh, I'll bring you in. I'll clean it up. I'll bring you in for some close-ups. <laughs> but until next time, y'all, happy crafting.